By now you've seen this video. It was a chaotic, horrific January morning. An officer down, a drug bust gone bad. There are no words to describe. A lieutenant opened fire on his own detective. Exactly what went wrong is still under investigation. What we do know, that detective, Jacob Grant, was shot at least eight times. It's devastating. This is Jacob. He is very lucky he's alive. But his passion, his career as an undercover detective, is over. He always tries to keep his spirits up and a positive spin on life. But it's been tough. He's in a lot of pain. Physical pain from being shot in the arm, shoulder, chest, abdomen, and hip. He has had a dozen surgeries and will have many more. Doctors still have to reconstruct his stomach, literally putting his intestines back inside. His children, ages four and seven, do everything they can to help their dad. His colleagues want to help even more. We still have a hero that's alive and with us. I don't want Jacob Grant to be a forgotten hero. That is why his former commander and a fellow detective wanted to come forward. Jacob is still part of the police department, but because he's on medical leave, he's getting workman's comp. That's about 60 to 70 percent of what his pay was when he was on duty. His most difficult surgeries, that complete stomach reconstruction, will happen in January. His wife, a physical therapist, has to quit her job to take care of Jacob. It sounds callous, but financially it's better if the officer's killed. The family would be financially better off because we do take care of our officers that are killed in the line of duty. There are money, federal, state monies that they get. Jacob's colleagues say the shooting has taken a massive physical and financial toll on the grants. My appeal to my friends, my colleagues, my associates, again, the good citizens of Albuquerque, Let's make Jacob Grant and his family Albuquerque's adopted family. They say this is Blue taking care of Blue. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.